Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the Yusuf Business Academy podcast. My name is George, and today I'm joined, as usual, by my favorite co-host, Ron. I would never trade Ron for anyone. He's the <laughs> best co-host you could ever have. Today, we have some excited updates over the past week about YouTube, YouTube automation, and we're going to be talking about our journey to $30,000 a month with YouTube automation. If you're not part of it already, make sure to subscribe to follow our journey. We share some insights, some learnings that we have learned over the past week. And we're basically documenting our whole journey. Ron is doing his thing. I'm doing my thing. And then once a week, we jump into this pod and we're like, Ron, what happened to you? How is the YouTube? And then I talk about my stuff and we go into depth. So yeah. Ah. Let's go. You're excited, George. I can Let's see you. <laughs> Today we have some big dick energy in house. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's up? Great. How's the week? Great introduction. Um, yeah, Thank more you. energy. That's good. Yeah, the, the week has been uh, been great for me, uh, especially for YouTube wise, because uh, like we've been discussing the RPM stuff, couple last couple of episodes, the skippable ad stuff. Like basically yeah. to uh, to summarize it for people who don't know, the earnings of at least my videos and some of yours videos as well uh were like way lower than they should be uh because the the ad type that's being shown in the video um should be like skippable video ads is the the ad type you earn the most mon most money from but the percentage of skippable video ads was very low on my channel uh causing the earnings of my channel to be low as well uh but now since about four to five days ago the skippable video ads have been going up just randomly out of nowhere um, which also resulting results in more earnings for my channel as well. So yeah, I'm, I'm more excited now to grow my search channel, uh, basically because the earnings have, yeah, like three to four times more. So it makes way more sense to start scaling the channel because last yeah. time, I think I mentioned it before, but like at this pace to make like 30 K a month, <laughs> it would probably <laughs> took me like five years with the old, uh, advertisements. And like now it would be like three to four times fat, not three times faster, maybe two times faster. So that's a good okay. news. Hey, before we move any further, here's a quick announcement. This podcast episode is sponsored by you. Yes, you heard that right. For those of you who want to take their YouTube game to the next level and join a private group of people who are all striving to make money on YouTube, you are invited to join the inner circle. By joining the inner circle, you will get access to monthly recurring calls. It's kind of like an online hangout where we chill together, discuss each other's progress, ask and answer your questions, and of course, hold each other accountable. Besides the monthly calls, we also have an extensive bank of content where we have our courses, recorded calls, templates, and more. So click the link down in the description and take your YouTube game to the next level. And back to the podcast. So the skippable ads are growing. You shared some screenshots today in the chat uh, in WhatsApp that uh, some video just absolutely jumped. Yeah, basically the the channel itself, um, the whole skippable ads uh, jumped. Um, so mm -hmm. when you can check check like the ad type on your channel, uh, normally it was like flat, but now it like went up for the skippable video ads, like the earnings as well, and it's st it's staying up right now. Um, so my, my earnings have like almost be like grew like maybe 75%, 50% with the same video. Like I didn't change the uploads or anything. Um, yeah. and I I'm checking some, some separate videos to see like, what was the RPM, uh, the last 90 days and what was the R RPM the last seven days. And a lot of videos, they, they went like three times, four times more in terms of RPM, mm. uh, while nothing changed. Like the video is the same. So the skippable ads percentage has, has, has been going up. Uh, like I have some videos with like 90 plus percent skippable video ads uh, out of nowhere, basically what you have on your main channel. So it looks like yeah. my channel got fixed or my channel is considered healthy according to YouTube or just completely random. I have no idea, but it's, yeah, it just happened out of nowhere. Did you do anything? Well, I reached out to YouTube on Twitter because that's what Marcel said. Um, yes. And they said, yeah, you need to contact seller support. And I didn't do oh, seller support. I mean, uh, customer support or oh, creator support. <laughs> sorry, seller support is Amazon. <laughs> confused there. When you're deep in the <laughs> yeah. <econ> game. <laughs> uh, 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 creator support. But I didn't do that because like I was, I, try, I did it before. Um, but two days after th that tweet it jumped up, but I don't think there's like a correlation between that. So I, th I think it's just random. I don't know. Like the channel is six, six nah, yeah, seven months old now. 
So maybe it's the age of the channel. Maybe it's the view count. Maybe it's completely mm. random. I think yeah, we don't know. Like we can see if your ch channel will have the same, uh, your second channel, yeah. then it's maybe. What's yeah. the average? What's the average RPM last twenty eight days? Like last twenty eight days, the RPM is one dollar ninety five. So that's still low. But if I check the last seven days, it's two dollars fifty nine. So let's go. It's going up really quick. Um, and in terms of like daily revenue, like my I, I told uh, before, my views are like capping a little bit, but my RPM is going yeah. up. Um, but if I compare like my whole view count stayed the same almost this month. Um, and for example, I mostly hit on, for example, on Monday, like Monday, 5th of June, I only hit $20 a day. And yesterday, Monday, it was, it was almost $39 because of the change, wow. because of the ad type change. So it's, it's growing now and yeah, it's, it's, it's going near the, the 40 a day. So that's, that's a really insane improvement. So what did you do to increase the average RPM so much? Cause it used to be like one and a half before, right? Yeah. But that's the, the whole RPM glitch because I'm not changing so much. Like maybe didn't you change like the, the types of videos you upload? Also I, I did. Yeah. I, I tried to focus more on high RPM topics, but still like those, those, those topics didn't get so many views. Um, mm. but if I would just look up, maybe I can try and find an example right now. If I just look up like a, a simple topic, like something from Instagram, um, like how to transfer Insta Instagram account from no, something to something. And the revenue since published is $1.21. And if I check the revenue the last seven days, it's $2.05. Like still the topic is not as good, but the RPM almost doubled the last seven days without doing anything. So hmm. it's not just the, the, the topics I added, but also like all the topics, are increasing as well. Yeah. That's RPM. very good. Yeah, but so yeah, it, it really adds up because I already have like two and a half thousand videos uploaded. If they all, if the RPM all goes up double, like it's extra money you don't have to do anything for. But that that shows how important the ad type really is. Yeah, but it also shows that like we are at the mercy of things that are really yeah. outside of our control. Yeah. Like I didn't know yeah. any better before this. I was like, what? I'm like growing one to $200 each month. It's nice, but like to really make significant amount of money through search takes a long time. But now it's- So how many, view, how many views right now are you averaging every 48 hours? Around 24,000. 24,000, that's pretty good. Yeah, but it's already like that for like one and a half month, two months. Why is it not growing? Because you're uploading consistently. Yeah, because I was focusing on the high RPM topics mostly. And oh, th right, right, right. those videos don't get crazy amount of views. Um, yeah. So the RPM have been has been increasing, but the views not really. Um, but, but this shows that like your views can stay the same if you just shift your focus from low RPM topics to high RPM topics, your revenue can increase dramatically just by targeting the different topics. Yeah, that, that's, that's certainly true. Like, yeah, like some are, I'm getting like crazy RPMs now on, on, on tools like MailChimp and stuff like that. Well, before I didn't have that crazy RPM, but right now, because of those RPMs that are so high, now I'm thinking, okay, I'm not going to focus on the topics that everybody is focusing on, which are like social media apps, because like, yeah, yeah it makes a huge difference. You can get like 10% the amount of views and still have more earnings with, with better topics, you know? It's really crazy. Yeah, you can t t talk about it because you've only been focusing on high topics of high RPM topics as well, right? Yeah, I've been I've been focusing on high RPM topics. I'll I'll, I'll share all of my updates in a second, but I also want to ask you about the because um, uh, you sent me videos of the person that you're now hiring with the face cam, oh, yeah. and uh, yeah, that second guy you sent me, he's really good. Like, I don't know how you found him, of, of <laughs> but it's really, yeah, but it's, he's really good. Yeah. He's making five new videos now. Um, a day. Now he's just making five now because I, oh. I was not so convinced on how he delivered the, 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 the video itself. Like I, I, I thought he was right. a little bit nervous and, but of course it's his first video. So that's why I'm, I'm, I'm giving him like more videos to make. Um, but the way of communication, I'm not that convinced. Uh, but, but, but yeah, but he could be a good guy. I also have another guy from Egypt with a whole setup and he's also making some videos. 
So I'm, I'm slowly transfer, transferring to more uh, high quality videos with face cam and uh, yeah, basically focus on, on quality, basically what Marcel was doing as well uh, in the last uh, episode. And what's the rates for per video? Um, under three minutes, like around one to three minute videos, it's five dollars and for uh, around eight eight minutes, it's, uh, it, it's fifteen dollars. But I'm, I'm going to plan to make longer videos. So 30 to 45 minute videos, full in-depth wow. uh, tutorials with face cam. Uh, that's eventually where I want to go with, but I have my second channel. Uh, like I started a second search channel um, mm -hmm. because I got that whole RPM issue. I was like thinking like I'm going to create a new channel uh, that's like very yeah. old, um, but I'm go going to get that channel first, like monetized with more general topics like social media apps to get volume. And then mm -hmm. I want to, uh, once that channel is monetized, I want to um, do more into depth, like central media style, but for a little bit lower quality because central media is like, yeah, you need a whole setup and, and good camera. Of course. Um, but basically what Marcel is doing with longer videos, even with face cam. Then. And, and you also told me that you got approved for Shopify. So I'm assuming that for those longer tutorials, you're going to be plugging in that affiliate link. Yeah, I'm, I'm using impact.com, the affiliate uh, program that you have that as well. So I, I just signed yeah. up to a bunch of affiliate programs today uh, and last week. So I'm, I'm, yeah, I, I'm, I'm telling the, the freelancer as well to have like a call to action in the beginning or maybe within the first minute. So people will actually yeah. click the link to also have some extra income uh, from affiliate. Yeah, it's crazy how it works. Like you would, if you don't have any experience with that, you would think like, oh, who would click the link? But it just works. Like if your video ranks and you get consistent search traffic, even if your call to action is not that good, like people are still going to click the link and you're still going to get like yeah. commission. It's true. I, like I got Shopify, I think I got it. I got it earlier already, like two days ago, I think. And I up updated yeah. the links immediately in some Shopify videos I had. And I got like 11 clicks on the link. No sale. Exactly. It's, it's like already 11 clicks and it just goes yeah. on and on. And if one hits, I, I have no idea, by the way, what, what the earnings is. I, like, I think, is it a, co a commission? Is it like a one-time fee you're getting or do you know it? Um. I'm not sure with Shopify, but the EPC earning per, per earning per click is like fifty eight dollars in the last thirty days, which is like a lot in the affiliate world. Um, but Shopify, their lifetime value of a customer is uh, insane. High. Yeah, so, true. Yeah, so I would assume that the commissions are going to be very high. Marcel, last time we had a uh, the, the pod last week, um, he's he's making about a thousand euros a month from commissions. But not just Shopify. Only, only Shopify. Only Shopify thousand. But it, does he has crazy tutorials about Shopify? I don't know if he has crazy tutorials about Shopify, but he has a bunch, I guess. But but like the most important thing is that they're like ranking for him. He has uh, some pretty yeah, good ones. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah, that's true. But like even like without revealing his channel, most videos are under 10k views. So that already shows yes. like the power of the, like yeah. quality topics basically like it is, it's not yeah. volume and if and like here's a little piece of advice for you and for everyone listening is like if you're going to because i've been thinking about this as well yesterday um and i've gotten some keywords like if you're going to be doing something like think about the customer journey of signing up to shopify like there's different journeys and different keywords related to where the person is in that journey yeah. so let's say that someone is looking for how to customize a Shopify website, right? Most likely the person is already signed up with Shopify yeah. and he's just looking to how to customize the theme. Now, on the other hand, if someone is looking for how to build a, um, a clothing uh, store, uh, how, to, how to build a clothing store online or something, right? Like he doesn't know about Shopify necessarily and he doesn't know about like a print on demand, right? So the keyword can be, how to build a clothing store online or how to sell clothes online. That's even better. Yeah. And then you say, Hey, um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to sell like your own, you know, designs on clothes online. It's very easy. You don't need any inventory or anything like that. Before we start, you need to make sure that you sign up to Shopify using my link down in the description and also sign up to printful.com down in the description because yeah. they also give credits or any other PODs, um, supplier. So yeah, think about the, the the journey of the customer like where they are yeah you know, and they're thinking i have actually explained it to my freelancers as well i created like a document what they need to, that they need like what they need to keep into account before 
recording the actual video. And I, I also had an example in there for if people are looking for like best Shopify teams for e-commerce, if they're looking that kind of keyword phrase, they already yeah. know what Shopify is. And I saw some videos ranking pretty high that are like, oh, this is Shopify. It's an e-commerce software, blah, blah, blah. But people <laughs> already know because they already have Shopify, yes. but are looking for a team. So yes, I, I've, I've come across some videos where like people in the comments are giving the timestamp, oh, the actual video starts here. And that's like what you exactly. really want to avoid when making those tutorials. Yes. Like really understand, exactly. okay, what does the, the viewer in, in, in this phase already understands? What does he know and what he does, doesn't know and provide the best solution possible without stretching the answer or like the solution too long. Exactly. And, and I bet that if there is a video ranking in first place, like you said, best things for Shopify, and there's like a two, three minutes intro into what Shopify is, and then only they start explaining. If you make a video that jumps straight into it and it's like nice and, and high quality and everything, most likely over the long term, you're going to outrank because people are just going to be like, oh, this is more straight to the point. Yeah. The algorithm is going to know if the user satisfaction is higher on your video. Yeah, exactly. And it, it's also like what Marcel said last week also, like if you would look the, the term up yourself, like exactly, what do you want to see? That's basically how you need to think. And I think it's important to educate like the freelancers in that kind of way, instead of just mm -hmm. making the video without really thinking through like, okay, how, how am, am I going to structure the video? So I've, I've been drilling, get, drilling my freelancers a little bit. <laughs> now we're getting into the intricate details of like, you know, how to make this stuff and everything. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's pretty interesting. Yeah, but it all adds but, up. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Exactly. It all adds up and it's so interesting, man. I've been, ah, oh, I've been loving what we've been doing lately. It's just such a flow. Yeah. It's so nice with like the podcast recordings, right? The community is growing. Uh, by the way, if you're not part of the community, make sure to join in discord. But I think that most people listening to this, like on a regular basis are already part of the community. Yeah, probably. Um, <laughs> so yeah, but, um, from my end, everything is great. I've been, June is going to be my highest month on YouTube ever. I'm, I'm most likely going to make over a thousand euros combined from both channels. Um, my views have grown on both channels as well. I've been focusing on higher RPM topics, like I said, and I've been implementing more affiliates as well. Um, so I've been getting commissions on Revolut. I've been getting people signing up with Wise. I've been getting uh, people to, um, I, I made some uh, videos about um, Inkfile. It's like a service in America that helps you register a business. And those commissions are fat because I made a video comparing Inkfile to something else like to, to a competitor. And I got maybe like 10 views or something like that, 15 views. And I got like a, I got a sale from that and the person who bought spent nine hundred and fifty dollars. Oh, was that one? With, yeah. How much did you with get? Ink, okay. with ink, I got hundred seventy five dollar commission from one sale. That's crazy. That's fat. Yeah, but then it doesn't matter if the video gets like one hundred views <laughs> in a year and you get like two or three sales. Yeah, but then you need to average it out. Obviously, it was some kind of like, yeah, um, okay, you're lucky maybe, but still. Yeah, exactly. You need to average it out over the over the span of, of time. But um, yeah, besides that, I've been also getting some great ideas about, um, you know, different videos. I've been, <laughs> it's funny, I was thinking today about, you know how we have those like um, apps for the e-scooters, like yeah, yeah. The Tier and, Bird and Boy and, and all oh, those. Yeah. Yeah. Bird and Lime and all those, right? All those apps offer referral programs. Yeah. And even, and even if they don't pay money, like you get like free miles of free, free yeah, you, <laughs> you, 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 can, you can ride, you can basically ride for free, you know, if you just get people to, to sign up and there's some pretty good keywords there as well. So I've been working on those today, uh, but it's, it's pretty funny how like you can, and I've been, and I started thinking like, damn, I can get a lot of stuff for free. I have also been doing, um, cause I've been looking a lot into the affiliates, um, and I found an affiliate for Hopper. So Hopper is this mobile app for booking flights. And uh, they also have a referral program. Wow, surprise, surprise. And they pay in flights. So, oh, what? So, in yeah, full yeah, yeah. flights. And I don't, know, I don't know exactly how it is. Maybe some points and then they yeah, stack exactly. up to a flight, whatever. But uh, the point is that like, there are some pretty good keywords for that as well. 
Um, I've been working on those, like how to book cheap flights to Thailand or something like that, right? And then you say, hey, in this video, I'm gonna show you the best way to book flights. Uh, we're gonna use this app called Hopper. Use my link down in the description to get it. You're gonna get, you know, maybe a little bonus or something. And then, you know, like if it ranks and people use it, like you get points and then you get a, it's just crazy to think that like, once you start thinking about everything in life in terms of like, what are the search terms? Is there an affiliate commission or is it like some kind of an affiliate? Yeah. You start plugging these things in, like boom. And then I start, and then like my, my mind always goes into like thinking like, I try to think as big as possible, you know, like, okay, what if there is like, equity management or like, you know, somewhere in Monaco or something, right? And they need, and they need leads. Hey, what's YouTube? Yeah? Those people that they need. I, I don't know, but, but like, think about this way. Maybe, maybe it's like how to open a bank account in Monaco or how to get a residence permit in Monaco, right? And then maybe you, you know, you know, someone, you find an agency or you talk to someone, right? Maybe you have some contacts and, you know, the, you redirect them to like, uh, to message them directly on WhatsApp, like Marcel did with selling those dogs, right? Because uh, we talked about it before. What Marcel did was he made four videos about that puddle toy or whatever it is, the dog. Um, and then he basically said, hey, yeah, if you want to get this dog, click the link down in the description to contact the breeder of, of this, of these dogs. And yeah, same thing here. Hey, this is how you sign up to Monaco. This is how you open a bank account. By the way, if you need help with that, contact uh, this best manager in town and they'll get you started, you know? And I don't know, it's just like- yeah, it's lead, you know lead I mean? generation, yeah. Exactly, lead generation. That's what we are on about. And we are generating leads through video content. Yeah, it's crazy. And I, I also, by the way, got uh, reached out to the two companies that want to, make, to have videos made about their software. Yeah. Um, so that's also like so, it's some sort of brand deal. So that's also yeah. funny. So they, they reach out to me for two. I just send them the price. Um, but it's it's all so extra. How much? How much? I, uh, they want two videos, but one is like quite technical. They want to have a video which shows their tool, how it's integrated with Google Analytics 4 and stuff like that. Uh, and I was also like, let's just see how much I can ask. So I asked for two videos, $350. Okay. So yeah, I think it's because they also want a link in the description and it will stay online forever. And there are no other videos uh, of them online yet. Uh, yeah, exactly. I mean, so it's, it's probably, they're probably going to make much more money from that than 350. Probably. So uh, yeah, let's see what they answer. Uh, I'll just email them back. So, but it's also funny to see like uh, companies reaching out. So there is not just YouTube ad revenue. That's, that's, yeah, there's yeah. more. It's everything, oh, everything matters. Like all the little things matter in this thing, you know? Yeah, but especially like, imagine if like YouTube uh, f fucks up the ad type again, or the, the, rev the re you know, the skippable ads thing. And my yeah. revenue drops again with like 50%, for example, you still have like the other mm -hmm. income source. Yeah, exactly. So you need to diversify yeah. your income. Like basically making these, these videos is you're generating these like digital assets that if they rank, you get traffic, right? I, I always say that traffic is the single most important thing. Like if you are, if you know how to generate traffic and there's, you know, multiple, like there's many ways to generate traffic online, then yeah, you're golden. You can then direct that traffic, you know, into, into many different ways. Yeah. 100%. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's getting more excited now. It's also getting easier once you're, the focus is more on, uh, on one thing like the, i think the biggest benefit for me compared to browse is that you're getting seeing immediate results or like not immediately but like within a week you can already see if the videos get is getting views or not and yeah. the videos that you can make is all based on research and it's not a guessing game like oh yeah. will this video uh be recommended to 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 the audience of youtube it's just backed by data search volume so there's like almost exactly. no uncertainty when producing videos or growing your channel and that for me yeah. is like uh, the biggest benefit because it's it, it doesn't make you like not like not not stressed but like it it doesn't make you worry about oh am i doing the right thing do i have the right thumbnail uh, do i have the right make did i make the right video that that mm -hmm. is all not it doesn't exist with search because it's all backed yeah. up by by data yeah i love that as well it gives me such a peace of mind to like knowing that okay if I stumble across something, I'm almost certain that if I make a video about that, I'm going to get that traffic. 
Yeah, exactly. But that, that's for you, I think, the same case because you've been doing browse for a long time before as well. Like, what, what's yeah. the biggest difference for you if you compare it like to the period you're in right now compared it to when you did browse? Yeah, like you said, you know, browse is, is, it's not a guessing game, but it's just like, to me, it was so hard. I've never seen success. Like, I've never seen success with browse, really. It's, it's, uh, no matter how much I tried, it, it's really is hard. I mean, the competition is insane. And I know some people like blow up with, you know, with videos that you would think like, oh, why would that ever get recommended? But I tried very hard for a long time with browse and I didn't get anywhere. Like you build an audience up slowly and it grows very, very slowly. But if I look at my data and I was talking to Hessel about it as well and Marcel and everyone is like, yeah, like search is the only thing that works over the over time. Yeah. And my first biggest, my first biggest kind of little success with that was my how to drop ship on Amazon video. And I didn't even know at the time what I was doing. I was approaching it from the perspective of like, what kind of video would I like to see if I was starting out that I remember that was my thinking back then. So I made that video about, you know, okay, this is what I would like to see, like a very step by step. And then I, you know, accidentally titled it the right way for SEO. And, you know, it's still getting views and making me money. And, but it took me much longer after that to realize, okay, you can actually make, you know, all kinds of videos and you should focus only on search. It's, it's but now once I figured it out, it's like, it's so much pressure off my shoulder because for a very long time, for over six years since I started my self-improvement slash entrepreneurship journey, I was looking for ways to make money online. And I was looking for this like consistent daily work that matches my strengths and that I can perform daily and that will grow my revenue. And it was very hard with e-commerce because e-commerce, e especially not, not if you're selling on marketplaces, but especially if you have your own brand, like on Shopify or something, you know, it requires a lot of moving parts. You know, there's like fulfillment, marketing, sales, um, you know, customer support. There's so many moving parts. So starting a very successful e-commerce brand, you need capital and labor. I mean, those are the two main things of any business, right? With this thing, Everything, all of that is taken with, with video creation, with search specifically, all of that you don't need to worry about. You need to worry about just one thing, which is finding opportunities and making the best videos possible. And by the way, coming back to what you said about what Marcel mentioned last week's episode and what you said in the beginning of this episode is think about how you would like to watch a video. And then that ties into the idea of, you know, like they say in the Bible and in, in every other holy book is that, you know, treat others like you would like to be treated yourself. Yeah. This applies to anything in real life and this applies to content as well. Yeah, true. It's, uh, it's, it's good. And, good then, and then a big thought that I had, which, which sounds very simple, by the way, but I wrote it down because it was like a, a little revelation to me. It's like, find your medium of being helpful to others. Basically, value is created from being helpful to others. And your goal is to f understand your strengths. And then based upon those strengths, find a medium of being helpful to others, because there's many different ways you can be helpful to others, you can create videos, they can be helpful to others, you can um, do whatever, right. And and those different mediums of being helpful generates value, which in turn generates yeah, money. But now, videos have has the biggest reach. Like if you would go to your village exactly. and help people, it's nice, but it's like smaller reach, you know, exactly, exactly. And this is what we you and I were talking a lot about in ba Bali is like leverage, like, sure. Um, you know, Dri uh, driving a car and offering your services as a taxi driver, for example, you're being helpful to others, but there is no leverage whatsoever. No. You know, because you need to be present, you need to physically drive the car, and then you're making money. If you're sleeping, if you're on vacation, you know, no one is driving that car, and you're not making, you know, you're, you're not leveraging that basically. Oh, that's, so, yeah. that's true. But are, are you also planning to uh, to create more videos now the revenue is going up? Like, are you going to hire more freelancers? Like, 
are, are you going to do the videos yourself for a long time? Like, do you already thought about it? Yeah, so <laughs> I got the exact same question today. Um, someone messaged me on Instagram asking the same thing, like, hey, how was the how was the business? How was the revenue? And then I told them that everything is growing. And I told them that right now I'm in this like very kind of uh, hustler mode where I'm like, you know, trying to work very hard every day. You know, I have a person in the UK recording videos for me. Uh, and then I'm recording videos myself as well, the ones that have higher leverage where I have like an affiliate and, you know, and all of that. Uh, but eventually, of course, once I reach, you know, once I reach maybe 3K, once like once everything over 3K or 2K even, I'm going to be reinvesting all of that back into the business until I climb to like 30K. Because my my cost of living per month is like 2K, right? So once I get to 2K, then I'll be like, okay, this is my life money everything else, everything on top of that, I want to just be reinvesting, right? Because I understand that the more I invest into the business, the more views I get, the more videos rank, you know, everything just snowballs from there. But still the keyword research, of course. Yeah. And actually I was talking to Hessel about keyword research because we had a pod with uh, Mihai, Alexi and Hessel, the, the four of us. And, uh, and, and in that uh, podcast, I asked the guys, I was like, we were talking about debating about, you know, automating everything, including keyword research. And then Hessel was like, oh, you don't outsource keyword research because it's the most important part of the business, right? But then the other question is like, okay, well, what kind of a business is that if you're not able to outsource the keyword research? Yeah. It's not really a business. It's then, then it's like- You're still inside. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. You know, you're, you're, you're still, then you, ha your business won't grow if you are not doing the work yourself. Yeah. And I think it's possible to, to delegate it, but you just need a really good person, probably someone that that's familiar with marketing. Like you don't want to uh, hire someone maybe from, from India or Pakistan with like a lower monthly body, budget. of course they can still be good, but then maybe someone from those countries that knows what, knows what he's doing or he, she's doing. Yeah. I think then it should be possible if you closely monitor, monitor, the, the freelancer like the first couple of months so they don't make any yeah. mistakes in terms of like using the work like how to get Spotify for free in those kind of terms I think it mm -hmm. should be possible eventually but then is the big yeah. question like if everything is outsourced what are you going to do <laughs> that's also like the thing yeah 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 but but like talking about outsourcing the keyword research I mean I feel that you can train a person to do it the way you do it yeah if you are able to put into words your thinking process. Exactly. And you probably can make a document. You can probably record videos, how you do the whole process. You can probably give them an incentive as well. Per video, you get 5% of the revenue, something like that. Ooh. So they, they have like a, an incentive to actually find that golden, those golden nuggets, you know? So that's how I would do it. At yeah. Least. Yeah, I'm not sure about the whole five percent thingy. Of their <laughs> videos, I think it's good. Like if they make good, if they find like if they like do more their best to find those unique videos, it's a benefit for right. them and for me. So I yeah, I, but I, then I don't mind. It, it's I, I don't know. I feel like it's such a pain in the ass to track. You know, that's, oh. that, that they will do it. But the thing is, like if you can find <laughs> someone that's better in keyword research than than you or me, that's like a huge asset to have in your team. Yeah, that's true. It is. It is. Yeah. yeah. Then you can truly like automate everything if you can find a really good person, you know? Exactly. And that's like the, 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 the most important part is the keyword research. That's why we are doing it mm -hmm. till the, that for a very long time. So you should not <laughs> till the end of yeah, our days. <laughs> yeah. But you should not, not, not like save your money on finding a person that's not that good, you know? Yeah. 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 Definitely. Definitely. So, um, okay. What else has been happening on YouTube over the past week? Um, let me see. Yeah. I've did a lot of keyword research, basically affiliates, uh, finding new freelancers. That's both mostly my, uh, yeah. What I've been up to. What about you? Okay. You, I think you, you're, yeah, you're just, uh, making videos, doing research. Yeah. 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 So my, uh, my 48 hour views now on the main channel is 6.2 thousand, by the way, remember, uh, Two weeks ago, we talked about Microsoft Copilot. Yeah, I, I've seen your video. It's horrible. <laughs> Bro, I, I don't know. I made such a mistake with editing that video. Oh, my God. I don't know how it happened because usually I just like, like 
yeah, I don't know how it happened, but there was a ranking. Yeah, they're, 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 yeah but they're what kind of video these. is it? It's an image, right? Would you yeah. yeah. But but it's working. Yeah, 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 it is. It's like a, it's like a one minute video, and the two of them are making eight hundred views every forty eight hours. Not bad. What's the RPM on, on that video? Uh, let's see. So there's two. There's how to download and how to install. So if we go, maybe how to install might be a higher one. So 1.4 thousand views generated 2.5 euro with an RPM of two and a half, 2.2 euro. Not bad for such a simple video. I'm telling you, it's wow. not bad at all. Um, yeah, I've been doing some steak videos. Oh, there was some crazy news that Q, some some streamer QYZ or QYC, I think QYC, um, got signed a contract with kick.com for two years. Okay. For one hundred million dollars, and it's non-exclusive, so he can stream on like Kick.com, but he can also stream on, on on the other platforms as well. What's Kick.com? Let me check. Kick.com as a streaming platform, um, a new one. Oh yeah, they're competing with like Twitch and 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 all that. And uh, where do I get the money from? Like you, huge investors are behind it. This 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 is this is the interesting part. So the um. The money, uh, what was his name? Uh, oh, I can't remember one YouTuber, one really big YouTuber, I forgot his name, made a video that I watched yesterday. Like, where does the money come from? Like where, because the biggest contract before that was I think Ninja and he got like 50 million for two years. So the person who started, the person who started kick.com is the same person who started stake.com, which is this casino online gambling thing. And what might and and what they're thinking is that the money that is fueling because you know drake is like the main sponsor of stake.com like can you imagine how much you need to pay drake to to sponsor like an online yeah. casino betting gambling thing like a lot yeah a lot. His, his whole reputation uh depends on it as well exactly like you need to pay a lot to get drake to sponsor that and so this whole online gambling betting and everything has been it's huge and so they're saying that the this gambling money is sponsoring this kick.com and promoting streamers and everything and their competitive advantage i think don't quote me on this but is that their share of revenue with creators is 95 5. for the creator Cre yes <laughs> okay. 95 that's a lot. 95 percent of the rev to the creator which is like yeah but how high is the ref like it depends on the advertisers right yeah so probably yeah. grows over time it's crazy and they probably stream gambling videos as well they do and they send them back to stake it's like a fly like a, i literally uh, <laughs> a flywheel uh, i literally checked right before this podcast i went into kick.com and i um looked at the top three like uh, popular streams and one of them is like slots and gambling like why would people watch someone else gamble in online you know slot machines the one like dee, 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 yeah that know, guy that steve will do it that the guy from america usa he was pretty big at gambling yeah. i think he got rem i have no idea why he got banned from youtube but he also did that a right. lot a lot of people watching it. <laughs> why i don't get I it i don't get it yeah, it's the same with people streaming their daily life you know i don't uh, it's a generation streaming thing. streaming your daily life yeah like people like they're walking on the street with like a camera streaming they're like what they're doing and people are watching what somebody else is doing like and ah, it's so weird Bro. i don't get it either it's a generation thing i think <laughs> generation ron come on you got to get to the level you got to watch other people no no never <laughs> i'd rather <laughs> no. make, make my own life you know <laughs> but yeah um I've been also targeting some gaming videos. Uh, so like I, I, I Googled most popular game, like most popular mobile games. Um, and because those have been performing pretty well for me. But how is the RPM those on those have... games? Because I try to avoid games because the audience is mostly uh, like young. Yes, the RPM is on my second channel is one and a half, 1.6 euro. But you make up with volume. Because right now, one of my uh, most viewed videos is getting 
720 views every 48 hours, 93% of it's coming from search. And the video has already generated nine euros. And I mean, this is such an evergreen topic and this is such an evergreen game that it's just going to continue like this. I don't know. I'm, and I paid one euro for this video. For yeah. this video. Well, yeah, maybe <laughs> it's a good idea to do with my new channel. Yeah. To get the volume. Yeah. Maybe. But it's interesting. Yeah, there are many games. I, I, I did like a lot of Roblox videos as well. Get a lot of views, but like the RPM is like $1. But are you ranking? One has like 40, 50K views and a couple more. So Whoa. it's ranking. That's nice. Yeah, because with these videos, like if you have a low cost per video. It's fine, yeah. You yeah, like you you you're making up with volume, and you really don't need to get that many views um, to to break even and to start making profit. Yeah, so but also for newer of, channels, like I, I actually also did those kind of few videos in the beginning, and a lot of like social media videos because they get volume. The RPM is shit, but you can get your your new channel like activated. Like if you can get the views going, you know, get some subscribers. Yeah. In the beginning, yeah. it's maybe a good uh, strategy to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Our community has been growing as well. That's pretty cool. Um, we now have uh, more people signing up to the inner circle as well, uh, which is really cool. So, yeah, it's yeah. exciting. We are planning a new one soon, exciting. I think, right? Yeah, we have another one coming in a couple of weeks. So, that'll be exciting. There's like a hangout session. I'm going to like, I'm going to probably show my channel and the back end, you know, uh, which videos are ranking the RPM, just basically share my screen. Cause like on this podcast, we don't share our screens. Uh, but the last, uh, hangout session we had in the inner circle, I actually shared my screen and I showed my channel. I revealed my second channel and I showed like, you know, the videos, but which is ranking and, and all of that. So yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's a pretty good idea to join, to join the inner circle. Yeah, it is for sure. I'm going to share everything as well because I think the the whole ad type thingy can be quite yeah. interesting for people. Exactly, exactly. And um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, <laughs> let's wrap it up. <laughs> it's, it's 40 minutes. It was a good podcast. And I think uh, we're uh, nicely, uh, like we have some decent progress in, uh, in terms of our YouTube journey. So uh, that's exciting. Yeah, yeah exactly, exactly. Highest, highest revenue month ever. So with that in mind, Ron, thank you so much for your time, energy. Yes, thank you too. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching, listening, subscribing, and we'll see you in the next week's episode. Ciao. Ciao.